Hey everyone, Simran here, and welcome, oh that was a weird wave, welcome to our short and sweet Sundays. So this is a new thing that I have essentially done. The sad thing is you won't see my face, and another bad news, you'll probably see my dirty nails, but that's okay. What I'm going to do in these videos is explain short and sweet concepts within three to four minutes, maybe less. And today we're going to be talking about what is a training contract. This is something that I get asked quite often. So I do aim to use these short and sweet videos to basically eliminate legal jargon and explain simple terms. So let's start off. What's a training contract? So currently a training contract or TC is one of the many ways to qualify as a solicitor in the UK. Let's take an individual, his name's Bob. My pencil drawings are not the one, but it's okay. So this is Bob. Now Bob has a training contract and therefore he's acknowledged as a trainee solicitor in a firm that he's training with. A training contract lasts for a two year period after which the individual has qualified as a solicitor. My handwriting sucks but that's okay. You can do a training contract in a law firm or in-house. However, before beginning your training contract, you must have a qualifying law degree and the LPC completed. If you haven't done a qualifying law degree, you can instead take a conversion course called the GDL. A training contract is typically split into four seats, one, two, three, four. However, there are certain firms that don't follow this system. In a four seat system, each seat lasts six months. As I said before, certain firms don't have this structure and encourage individuals to help various teams instead and look for work in that area. So these sections, as I've mentioned, are called seats. So seat one, seat two, seat three, and seat four. Seats are essentially the practice areas or the departments. So you can get things like real estate or family or corporate teams, etc. They're essentially the teams that you'll be sat in. So what does a trainee solicitor do during these seats? Well, Bob, let's take him as an example, during his training contract, he'll be helping each of the individual members within this seat or the other lawyers in the team and also complying with the SRA requirements to show that he's capable of becoming a solicitor. To get a training contract, you typically have to go through a long application process, which is quite competitive. You can either apply to the firm directly, or we can go via vacation scheme. Ooh, S looks a bit weird. Okay, there we go. I'll explain more about vacation schemes in the next video. Be wary that the SQE will be introduced soon, and that's why I've drawn the line across. It pretty much changes everything I've mentioned in this video. Stay tuned.